dear learners, I'm Ms. Bangat. Today I'm going to introduce you the lesson about transport and tourism. So today we are going to start with the notion of transport. To start, so we need to know the definition of transport. So we start with transport. So the first activity, number one, it is what it is transport. What is transport? We are going to start here. What is transport? So we will start with the activity one and you will see the situation and give the answers after. So in the activity one, activity. So this activity is activity one. What we are going to do is to observe the situation. Observe this situation. What is that situation? The situation is that the departure point is A. Departure, departure point, the departure point here, it is A. A is Point Noir. Suppose it's Point Noir. Point Noir. Sorry. Point Noir. Point Noir. <coughs> point Noir is the departure point. After Point Noir, it's like this. Let's see, like this. What is this? It is the Arriving point B. Arriving point B. Arriving point B, which it is that? It is Dolese. Dolese. Dolese is the point B. And here means. What kind of means of transport? So here we selected train, a train. Let's say train. As you know very well, now you can go from Point Noir to Dolizi by car, but here we chose we chose train. So the train, the train here. This is the means we used, excuse me, it is the train. This is the means used, it is the train. As I said, apart from a train, we can also travel from Point Noir to Dolizy by car or by bus, it depends. Okay, so we say train. So we need to know who is traveling. Here we selected Ingrid. Ingrid is the one who is traveling. You got the freight with the freight with the freight. That means goods, marchandise in French. So this is the situation. So we have, in this situation, we have Ingrid plus the freight. That means the goods. So this is activity one. This is the situation we are observing. So activity two. Activity, activity two. After activity one, 
you will observe the activity two. Activity two. This is activity two. So in activity two, what is said? Question answering. We are going to answer some question. Question answering. To answer, answering. Question answering. This is the activity two, question answer. So, dash, answer the following question. Answer the following, following, answer the following questions from that situation. Following questions. Following questions from that situation. From that situation. From that situation. The situation is this one. So, what kind of questions do we have here? So, the question number one is who is traveling? This is the question number one. So, one, who is, who is traveling? Who is traveling? This is the question number one. Who is traveling? Who is traveling? Number two, the question number two here, Number two, what is the starting or the departure point? What is what in the starting, the starting or departure, departure or departure point? Picture point, question mark. This is question number two. Question number three, what does she have? What does, what does she have? Question mark. What does she have? So, what does she have? So, activity one, the observation. Activity two, questions. Oh, excuse me. It is questions. Answering. So, answer the following questions from that situation. So, the question number one is, who is traveling? Number two, what is, what is the starting point? or the departure point. So number three, this is number three, excuse me, number three, this is number three. Number three, what is number three? The number three here, what does she have? What, what does she have? Have. What does she have? This is number three. And number four, where is she going? We have question four. Question four, where, where, where is she going? Question mark. At last, we have the last one, number five. What is the means of transport used? What is number five? What is what is the means? The means of Transport, 
transport used? Question mark. So, as you see, this is no, what is the definition of a transport? So you see this situation from the activity one, you see the observation, <coughs> the departure point A is Point Noir, arriving point B is Dolisi, means of transport used is the train, who is traveling, and so on and so forth. So in activity two, we need to answer those questions. The question one here is, who is traveling? What is the starting or the departure point? Number three, what does she have? Number four, where is she going? And at last, number five, it is, what is the means of transport used? Here, the conclusion. What can we say? To conclude, the conclusion, this is the conclusion. The conclusion, what is the conclusion? So the conclusion is about the question answering. Who is traveling? Who is traveling? According to you, who is traveling? According to this situation, who is traveling? So in the conclusion, we can say, we can start, we can say, Ingrid. Ingrid, for the first question, who is traveling? Is Ingrid. Is Ingrid traveling alone? Yes or no? When we see the situation very well, it is say Ingrid and a fright. So it is Ingrid and a fright. So the question number two, it said, what is the starting point? The starting point here, it is uh, the departure point from this situation. As you see very well, the starting point, it is the departure point. So the departure point here is what? So it is said Ingrid and is right. They leave point A. What is point A? Point A is supposed to be here. It is point noir. Leaving point noir. Point noir is leaving point noir. Is leaving point noir? Yes. Is leaving Point Noir. So, where is she going? Where is she going? Because in the question number one, we said who is traveling? We say Ingrid. What is the starting point? The starting point is is Point Noir. Number three, what does she have? So, it is the freight. So, number four, where is she going? Where is she going? So, she is going, have uh, leave point noir towards, towards which city? The point B. When you see the situation, where is the point B here? This is the point A is point noir. Point B is arriving Dolizi. Dolizi is Dolizi. Point B, yes. At last, number five, the question number five said, what is the means of transport used? 
She's going on foot. No, she's not going on foot. It is said she's the means used is the train. So here we see it toward point B by train. By train. So here is the conclusion. We can say here that Ingrid and Ingrid and uh, Fright leave point B, which is point noir, that's supposed to be point noir, towards the point B, which is Dolizy by train. This is the conclusion. So from this conclusion, what we are going to see, because the big question here, it is about the first one. What is transport? We need to know the definition of transport. This is the most important thing. So here, we move to complete this exercise, small exercise, complete to get, to get a definition, definition, to get a definition, to get a definition. What kind of definition? The definition of the term of the term transport of the term transport the term transport so here so transport can be defined so I will not give the answer. You will give me the answer. I will give the sentence. Transport can be defined. It is said transport, transport can be defined as, can be defined as, can be defined as a system of, as a system of as a system of displacement 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 of people and goods from of people of people sorry people excuse me people and goods and goods and goods and good from one from one so here you are going to give the answer and the answer will be according to this situation to the activity one where we started so from one it's up to you to give the answer in order to get the definition. Point, 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 point towards, towards this one also using, using, using what? Any any also the same thing of locomotion of locomotion locomotion full stop so this one you will observe the first activity here to give the definition of uh, transport so here it is said Transport can be defined as a system of the system of displacement of people and goods from from what? You give the answer in order to get the definition. So, what can you say from? So, uh, you don't need to imagine. You just look here. So, as we said, observe. 
the departure point that's supposed to be point noir, we can see it here, transport can be defined as a system of displacement of people and goods from, let's say, departure point, from one departure point, from one departure, departure. So the departure point, it is also the starting. We can say the starting point. It is also correct. We can say starting. It can be departure or starting. The starting point. Towards, toward what? The starting point towards, toward, toward another, another means another point. Here we have the point A, that is point noir, and the other is the point B, that's supposed to be Dolisi, using any, any what? Using any, any what? Any of locomotion. So here, any, let's say, means, means of locomotion. So here, we have the definition of transport. So <clears throat> the first activity was about what is transport. So here we have the definition of transport. So transport is what? Transport can be defined as a system of displacement of people and goods from one de departure point, that is also say starting point, towards another, towards another, using any means of locomotion. So this is what, what we asked you to, to do about the definition of transport. So it is not enough. We are going to continue now. We'll move to another activity that will be about the vocabulary of transport. Excuse me, I'm going to clean the blackboard. Give me just a few minutes. So let's clean here. We clean here and there. Then we are going to see the following. So let me clean here. Excuse me. Finished. Okay, finished. Okay, so the next activity, it will be two. One was uh, the definition of the transport. Number two, here, it would be about vocabulary of transport. Vocabulary of transport. Transport. So here, will be about the vocabulary of transport. So we would state by A, the A would be few verbs related to transport, or few verbs related to transport, related to transport, transport. Here, it is the activity one, activity, activity one, activity one, it would be activity one. So here it is said, find the French for the following English words. You can use the dictionary at home, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Find, it is said, Find the French, the French for the following, for the following, for the following, for the following English words, English, English words, English words.
So you can, at home, you can use a dictionary. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you some verbs. Those verbs are here. We have to drive, to drive, to drive. It is one, excuse me. I need to number, number one. The number one here is to drive, to drive, to is, number two is find the French for, yes, the French, excuse me, the French, it's a capital letter, find the French for the following English words. We start with to drive, to pilot, number three. Number three would be, number three, to pick up. To pick up, pick up. Number four, number four is, number four is to get off. To get off, to get off. Number five, what is number five? To paddle, to paddle. To paddle, number six is to, to tick, to tick. Number seven, number seven is to inch hike, to, to inch hike, to inch hike, to inch, sorry. To inch Ike, inch Ike, to inch Ike, to inch Ike. Number eight, number eight, number eight is to sell, to, to sell. Number nine, number nine is to ride, to ride. You are going to look for the French. And number 10, number 10 is to travel, excuse me, to travel, not travel, to travel. Number 11, 11, 11 is to sink, to sink. 12, 12 is to get on board, to get on board, on board, to get on board. And the next one will be 13th, it will be, we'll give the French and so on. We can use even this one, yes. So. Uh, yes, like this. The 13 will be after to get, to get on board, it will be to land, to land, to land. 14, the 14 is to take off, to take off. Take off. This one, number 15. 15 is to crash. To crash. To crash, excuse me. To crash. To crash. Number 16. Number 16 is to hijack, to hijack, to hijack. Number 17, number 17, it is to embark, to embark, to embark, to, to embark, embark. 
Now, number 18. Number 18 is to, to, to tag. To tag. Number 19. The number 19 is to derail. To derail. And at last, number 20, number 20, number 20 is to call at, to call at. Okay, so in this activity, what you are going to do, it is the vocabulary of transport. Here, we are going to see some verbs. It is, say, a few words related to transport. We have the activity one. Find the French for the following English, following English words. It's, it's up to you. At home, you can use your dictionary. It doesn't matter. You can use a dictionary in order to find the translation of these words. So here you are going to give the translation for the first one, like to drive. What is to drive? You say, I drive a car. In French, it means what? To drive. I drive a car. It means conduit. Conduit. To conduit une voiture, ainsi de suite, to drive. To pilot. What is the pilot? The semantic sound. Like in French, what is the pilot? The pilot here, activity one, as we said, what we are going to do to give the French words. The first one we say to drive. What's to drive, to pilot? Oh, sorry. It is to pilot, not pilot. It is to pilot. To pilot. Okay? To pilot. So to drive, as we say, it's conduit, French. The next one is to pilot. Piloter. Piloter un avion, for example. Piloter. To pilot. Number three, to pick up. What is to pick up? Pick up for tourists in terms of transport. It's when people are in hotel, for example, they need to go to airport. Uh, the driver comes with a car. He pick people up from the hotel to the airport. What is to pick up? So to pick up, say ramasser, faire le ramassage. Ramasser, dans le sens du transport. Faire le ramassage des gens. Ramasser. To get off. What is to get off? When you are in the bus, you arrive to your destination. What do you do? You get off. What is to get off in French? To get off. It is descendre. Descendre, le verbe descendre. Number five, to paddle. What, what is to paddle? When you see in the Congo River, there are a lot of fishermen. They paddle their canoe. When they fish, they paddle. What is to paddle? What is to paddle? To paddle in French. Pa avec une pagaie. C'est comme conduire. Conduire une pirogue. To take. What is to take? To take here, in terms of transport. Take, c'est amener. Ou transporter. To prendre, transporter. Porter, amener. Le verbe amener. Ou transporter. To take someone. Number seven, to inch hike. What is to inch hike? Sometimes when you walk, you are tired, you see people or you see cars passing. Even if you don't know the person who drives the car, sometimes you can help, you can ask for the help. You say like this, help me, help me. It is to inch hike. It is to inch hike. 
what is to inch hike, c'est faire le taux stop. Faire le taux stop. To stop. Faire to stop. To sell the ship. So when we sell in the ocean, to sell. Ici, il s'agit de naviguer sur l'océan en termes de transport. Pas naviguer pour l'Internet. Attention. Naviguer. Naviguer. To ride. When you have a horse in the house, Horse, you can ride a horse. What is to ride? Aller à cheval. Aller, aller à cheval. À cheval. Cheval. To travel. To travel, you know, every day. Travel, travel. This is quite easy. So, quel verb? To travel, not to travel. To travel. Voyager. Voyager. The next one is to sink. To sink. What is to sink? To sink for a boat. Or in the ocean, when the ship is overloaded, it can sink, go deep into the water. It is to sink. What is to sink? Into French. To, what is to Sink. Chaviré. Chaviré. It to sink. To get on board. To get on board. In the plane, for example, in the boat. Sambarqué. Now we come here. To number 13, it is to land. To land mainly in transport concerning the, the, the plane. It takes off, going high, then it lands. What is to land? What is to land? To land in French means atterrir. 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 To take off. What is to take off? I gave you the clue. I said to take off a plane. It runs and then whoo, it takes off. What is to take off? To take off. In French, say décoller. 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 The next one here is to crash. Décoller. To crash after décoller. Sorry. Décoller. To crash. What is to crash? To crash. Ça veut dire s'écraser. Faire un accident. Je préfère prendre s'écraser. S'écraser ou Faire un accident, ça prend beaucoup de connotations. Mais ici, c'est s'écraser. To hijack. What is to hijack? S'écraser. S'écraser. To hijack. What is to hijack? Hijack. When you watch news, sometimes, it is say, a jet was uh, hijacked by people. Hijackers took the control of plane, of a plane, of a jet. So what is to hijack? What is to hijack? C'est pirater. Pirater un avion. Pirater un avion. Prendre l'avion par la force. Et détourner. On peut aussi dire détourner. Détourner. Détourner un avion, par exemple. To hijack. To embark. Comme vous comprenez, dans le bateau, embarquer. Lorsqu'on embarque les gens, on dit 
back, embarqué. To tug. What is to tug? To tug. To tug. Here, we have to tug, to derail, to call out. Three words. Here, what is to tug? Say, remorque. On peut remorque. Remorque. So, number 19. The 19 here is derail. What is derail? Derailé. Derailé. Sorti des rails. Le train a déraillé. For example. And the last one here is number 20, to call at. You know, to call at. To call at. What is to call at? To call at also, in terms of the, the plane, we can say to stop. We can also say to stop. We can also say to stop the plane. For example, you are going somewhere, you stop somewhere, you know, and you, for the refreshment, and then you go somewhere else. It is a, st a stop. It is also called to call up. What is to call up here? In French, it is the word escal. Faire escal. Faire escal. Excuse me. Faire escal. On a fait escal à Addis Abeba pour aller à Paris. Faire escal. Escal. So here, these verbs, we say to drive, to pilot, to pick up, to get off, and you have the French one here, and so on. So this is till the 20. This is the end of the, the activity you have, activity one. Now we'll move to the activity two. Excuse me, I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean here to write the activity two. So the activity two will be about some French words that you will, you will be uh, translating into English. So excuse me, I'm going to clean here. I'm going to clean here. Give me just two minutes. Two minutes, please. Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. So, we go to B after A was a few verbs. We'll move to B of the same activity. It will be B. So what is B about? So the B here is a few means of transport. No? Yeah. A few means of transport already. Let's say transport. B here will be uh, activity B will be about activity B. Activity B will be about, dear learners, now, after the activity one, we are going to move to activity two. The activity two, excuse me, activity two, activity two, activity two. What is it about? Activity two, find the English for the French word suggested below. Find, find the English, find the English, find the English, find the English words, no, the English for the French, for the French words. Suggested, suggested 
below. No. It is also use the dictionary as, if possible, you are at home, you can use the dictionary. It doesn't matter. So we will start with some French words, and you will give the translation into English. Number one, the first word here it is metro. One, metro. Number two, number two, after metro, we have pirog. 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 Number three, cano rapid. Cano rapid. Cano rapid. Number four. Number four, navire. 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 Number five. Number five, fusée. Fusée. Une fusée. Number six is TGV. Number six here, it is TGV. It is an acronym. TGV. Number seven, cheval. We have cheval. Cheval. Un cheval. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight, we have un, sorry, un cheval et un chameau, the last one. Un cheval, un cheval, et puis un chameau, un chameau. I will give you, let's say, ten, nine, Avion. Un avion. Ici, c'est avion. And uh, number 10, we have voiture. Une voiture. So, it's up to you to give this French word into English. So, the first one, you have métro. Pirogue, une pirogue, un canot rapide, un navire, une fusée. After fusée, you have TGV. TGV, un cheval. Et puis, un chameau. Un chameau, un avion, puis une voiture. C'est à vous de jouer. Vous pouvez utiliser les dictionnaires à la maison, ça ne fait rien. So, uh, excuse me. So, as I said, the activity two, find the English for the French was suggested below. So we have one, metro, two, pirogue, and so on. So we have 10 uh, voitures, and we have 11 camions, un camion. So it's up to you at home. You can check in your dictionary, it doesn't matter. So, what I need from you, just to give me the answers. Can you, I need to get your proposal. So number one, metro. What is metro in English? In English, metro here, it is what? It is tube, the tube. The tube, or tube. It can also say, we can also say, the subway. Subway, it is metro, or else underground, the underground, underground, it is metro. Number two, pirogue. What is pirogue? What is pirogue in French? Uh, in English, excuse me. What is pirogue? Pirogue is, is in French, so pirogue here, it is the Canon. 
The next one is Cano Rapid. What is Cano Rapid? What is Cano Rapid? So, Cano Rapid, what is Cano Rapid? Tell me. Cano Rapid here, it is the motorboat. You can call it also the motorboat. Motorboat. It is very, or oh, the speed boat. You can also speed boat. Speed boat. Okay, so the next one we have navire. What is navire? So navire here, it is what? Navire. It is a ship. Ship. It is a ship. Number five, une fusée. What is a fusée? Fusée, you know the fusée. How do you call it in English? It is the rocket. Rocket, the rocket, fusée, TGV, TGV is an acronym, train à grande vitesse, it is an acronym, so what can you say in English? It is a high speed, it is a high speed, high speed train, train à grande vitesse, un cheval, Quite easy for you. Horse. Un chameau. What is chameau? Chameau here. Camel. Camel. The plane. Avion. Appareil volant imitant l'oiseau naturel. How do you call it in English? It is the plane. You know it very well. It is the plane. Avion, voiture, it's very basic, you know, voiture, it is a car. And tell me, what is the last one? Eleven. Camion, un camion. How do you call camion? A camion is a truck. Truck. It's a truck. It is also called a lorry. 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 Like this. It is a truck. So, now we come to the end of our activities. What we are going to do is to move forward to the exercises we have. So, about the first exercise, the first one is here. It's here. So, the first one is this one. Exercise, test on vocabulary. Find the appropriate means of transport from those studied above. We have already studied them to fill in the sentences. A, many Arabs use to travel in desert. It's up to you. What is your proposal? Many Arabs use, what do they use in desert? So you see what we have studied here and then you pick up just one word and then you correct here, you put it here. So here, many Arabs use to travel in desert. So in desert, Arab, what do they do? We have metro, pirogue, canoe, navi, fusée, TGV, un cheval, un chameau, un avion, une voiture, un camion. What is your proposal? It is here, un number eight. It is here, un chameau. Un chameau? In English, it is camel. But here, many Arabs use camels to travel in desert. So here we write camels in the plural. Les chameaux, camels, to travel in desert. B, where trains, car, and planes cannot reach, people use. What do people use? What do people use? where trains and car and planes cannot reach. You see here, what do we have? The car, the truck, the plane, no. So here we have a cheval. We put the horse. So here 
Yuz, Hos, and Shiva. Hos to carry the goods, to carry the goods. So here, as we said, many Arabs use camel to travel in deserts. B, where trains, cars, and planes cannot reach. People use, we say, horse, or we can say horses, yes, to carry their goods. We move to C, astronaut, travel through space and discover all the galaxies in their astronaut. When they travel in their, we see here, in the rocket, in the rockets, in the rocket, in the rocket, to kit. D, if you want to reach Kinshasa quickly from Brazzaville Beach, it is better to take a, what? To take what? You see here? Yeah, we say, oh, canoe rapide, motor boat, speed boat. Take, better to take a speed, a speed boat, a speed boat. Let's end the line, speed boat, racket, and uh, what else? Horses, okay. Now we move to the exercise E. In developed countries, normal trains have progressively been replaced by, by what? By what? By, you see the exercise, you pick up one word, or we say TGV, high speed train. TGV, high speed trains, high speed, high speed train. The high speed train, TGV. Or, oh, what else? When you see what is speed, what is, we take uh, the tube or the subway or tube, you see, the tube or else, it is the same, or else, subway or underground. Let's take subway or else, sub. We, we end the line, this one, this one too. Okay, F, all along the Congo River, people fish in the, and feed their families. So, always, you see here, P rog is, Canoe. So here we say in the the canoe and feed the families. The last one here, lots of cross ocean with goods and get to different harbors where they are and loaded and sold to wholesalers. So here the answer is quite easy. When we see there, we see Lots of ships, ships, and the line, ships. So here you find the correction, okay? So we come to the hands, so let's read again. You say A, many Arab, D, C, and so on. So here uh, we have astronaut travel through space and discover all galaxies. The racket, the D, if you want to reach Kinshasa quickly from Brazzaville Beach, it is better to take a speed boat. E, in different countries, normal trains have progressively been replaced by high speed trains. F, all along the Kanga River, people fish in the canoe. So, excuse me, canoe is not with double N, it is one N, with canoe. This canoe, excuse me, maybe there, oh, excuse me, canoe, it's not double, it is one N. Okay, this is the end of the first exercise. We move to the last one. The last one is here. This is the last exercise. 
here is it. So, two, it is said, choose the, the appropriate verb between parentheses to fill in the blanks. So, this one is quite easy because you have three proposals. In three proposals, you pick just one answer. So, A, it is a Titanic, I don't know the answer, in 19th and caused the death of many passengers. What is the correct answer? So, the correct answer is this one. So, you put it here, Titanic, the Titanic sunk. And we underline in the 90s and caused the death of many passengers. B, when the journey is long, planes often in the country where all passengers refresh themselves before keeping on to the destination. So here we have three proposal, pickup, cola, pilot. The best answer is to cola, cola. As I said, you can say collat or you can say stop. It is the same word. So the next one is C, many trains. When the railroads are used and the driver doesn't pay attention. Start up, tugging, derail. Here, the best answer is this one, derail. Derail. And the end line. We move to D. After leaving the trek and going high, everybody was relieved because the plane finally, after leaving the trek and going high, everybody was relieved because the, train, the plane finally, what? Took off. The plane took off. Oh, sorry. The train landed, excuse me. Landed. The train landed. To take off is to, and to land is like this. Landed. Okay. All right, let's end the line like this. Okay, now move to E. In Europe, and even here in Africa, people, I don't know when their cars break down or when they are tired after a long walk. We have hijack, inch hike, sell. As I say, what should what can we use? Let's take inch hike to inch hike to ask for help. So we say inch. Ike, and we end the line. Now, we have the F. It is the last one, yes. Terrorists or air pirates often, often, planes and threaten to crash them if the vindications are not taken seriously. So here, the best answer is I Jake. So we write it here in this blank. So it is I, Jake. I, Jake, and we end the line. Now we see that everything is completed. So A, B, C, D, you see the answers, the underlined answers. So we come to the end of our lessons. That was about transport, transport and tourism. We started with transport. We saw all the activities and the evaluation, some exercises. So this is the end of our class. Next time, we'll move to tourism. Thank you very much for watching, dear learners. See you next time. Thank you.